Yeah, l l let me do this properly. I mean, I can just uh, give you the right. You know, uh, let me read the question carefully and do it properly, and in the process of doing it properly, actually get to the correct answer. So it says, is there a phase change in the light reflected from either surface of a contact? Okay, uh, so it looks like we have uh, some kind of a tear layer. So I, assuming by tear, they mean basically water. And there's a contact lens layer. Okay, and it's asking about phase change. And if you read it through the textbook section, whether there's a phase change on reflection depends on index of refraction. It uh, depends on relative values of index of refraction. So it says the index of refraction of the lens is 1.5. Um, and it, top surface is dry. So uh, the top here would be air at n equals 1 and the bottom surface, which is water. And they're not giving you the index of refraction of water, but I've done this enough to have memorized that that's 1.33. Okay. So for clarification, there are three or four layers to consider here, air. Okay, I got that. Uh, the lens, I got that. And the tear layer immediately below. Okay, I got that. What's the fourth layer? Oh, uh, eye or cornea. Okay, but that doesn't uh, come into place. So I think I can leave that. All right, so those are the layers and we are considering light coming in, reflecting from here, and some refracting through and then reflecting from here. And as you're looking at these two reflections, um, this is the rule that you just have to know. Um, it's uh, kind of stated with a proof in this class and that's where it's gonna be at. Um, so the light, so this is the rule. Light undergoes phase change of uh, pi radian or 180 degree, you can say it either way. That is degree, high radian or 180 degree uh, when reflecting uh, from a medium of higher index of refraction, higher than the um, medium that it's coming in from. So you can see here how those values compare. The index of refraction of air is less than 1.5. So on this uh, uh, reflection, there will be a pi phase shift. And on um, here, you can see that 1.33 is less than 1.5. Now, you will still get reflection here. But here, um, there will be no phase shift. Again, it's something that you just have to know, be told, and have memorized. Then if uh, in the hint, yeah, what is the condition for phase change? You know, look at the section and it'll tell you. <laughs> I do want you to memorize it, but it's fine. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go through each of the choices. There's a phase change in light reflected from the top surface of the contact lens only. Ah, that sounds right. That is what I'm seeing. Okay, let me just double check all the remaining choices to be sure. There's no phase change in light on either the top nor... Okay, that is wrong. There's a phase change in light and the bottom. Okay, that is wrong. Now, if this index of refraction were somehow in between, like 1.2, then that would be correct, but it's not. So there's a phase change in light reflected from the bottom surface. Uh, no, it's the other way around. So that seems right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there's really much more to that. Um, yeah. So, okay, that was question nine. Uh, let me look at question 10. Okay, this question seems related. So let me preserve most of this writing just to replace some of the words. So it says, in placing a sample on micro slag, glass cover is placed over a water drop. Okay, so I think I have some kind of a water drop here. So let me keep that. Uh, at which surfaces will there be a phase change in the reflected light? 
Um, oh, yeah, so this uh, what used to be contact is glass cover, and the rest actually stays the same. And somehow here they are not telling us the index of refraction of glass cover. I think the hint might say okay. So um, you can actually look up index of refraction of glass. Uh, crown glass, whatever, they will all have a range that's similar to this. Um, they might vary slightly, like n equals 1.51 or 1.49, but it won't be so different that it's uh, um, smaller than index of refraction of water. So these relationships that we've noted, they will continue to hold, which means, um, just can choose all surfaces at which there will be a phase change in the reflected light. Okay, so there will be a phase change in the top surface of the glass slide. And oh, wait, 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 uh, did I? Oh, uh, sorry, um, I um, kind of missed a little bit of detail. There's one more layer. So let me just move this out of the way so that I can draw that additional layer. Um, that additional layer is below water because the water is uh, sitting on top of a uh, uh, glass slide. So we have glass cover here and we have glass slide down here. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, where uh, n is equal to 1.5 again. And I think there's one more layer. Below the glass slide, there's air with uh, n equals 1. Okay, so top surface of glass slide. That would be referring to this reflection here. And I'm going from the lower index of refraction to higher index of refraction. So, okay, there should be a phase change. Bottom surface of glass slide, you are going from a higher index of refraction to lower index of refraction. So, or that's the boundary you are reflecting from. So there shouldn't be any phase shift. Bottom surface of glass cover, you're going from 1.5 to 1.3. So no phase shift again. Top surface of glass cover, you are going from n equals 1 to 1.5. So yes. Okay, that's it. That's all the layers. I haven't forgotten anything. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah. It. Uh, yeah. There are five layers cluster here: air, glass cover, water, glass slide, and air below. Yeah. Yeah. I almost forgot about that. 